Now, this is my first video in a range of videos where I explain in simple terminology things about ecology. I try, uh, at least I try to make it as simple as possible. Now, phytoplankton. What are phytoplankton? Phytoplankton, if you can understand, are tiny marine plants. The word phyto, meaning plant. Phytoplankton are one of the most important non-sensuous organisms on the planet. That means they are not self-aware and have no central nervous system and cannot feel pain. That's what I mean with that. In contrary with animals, how can feel pain? But yes, go further. Phytoplankton populations are decreasing in populations, at least since the since the year 1950 this is mainly because of extremely commercialized fishing practice and the cleaning of populations of fish like sharks and dolphins and whales Oh yes, let's talk about whales. The manual of whales is very high in iron and nitrogen, just like with some other um, vitamins and minerals, but particular iron and nitrogen. Also some B vitamins and some potassium. And that is also um, very important for the growth of phytoplankton. One will produce three hundred pounds of manure any day, and when they go up to the uh, Europe zone, just a uh, upper layer of the sea, where the sun shines uh, in the sea, where the, where it's the li most lightest part in the sea. And that's the only place where phytoplankton can f do one, one process called photosynthesis. By this, they turn oxygen into um, they call um, carbon turns in oxygen, and then they produce. Yeah, the oxygen is just what why you breathe. <laughs> if you can understand, and that's also a part on how carbon is stored in the ocean, because when the phytoplankton then go again backwards to into the deeper part of the sea, they will become eaten by zooplankton. And some wheels and zooplankton uh, are actually the smallest kind of animal you can say, uh, but there are some of no central nervous system or brain software. I know, but the majority have, but they are very primitive, like uh, kill. Not the vegetable, what it in pronunciation look like that, <laughs> but you would know a little of kind of fish. Uh, but zooplankton are also the babies of, um, of other large uh, of fishes. How become later larger, like um, crustaceans, some crustaceans. Uh, 
and shrimp is also the youngs of shrimp also belong to the sumas. Um, but yes, furthermore, phytoplankton are a key element in an unhealthy ecosystem. Losing the phytoplankton populations of the earth will be terrible for the health of the world's ecosystem, since they are produced 70% of the world's oxygen. Since they are a key factor, also a food source for many small and sometimes a little bit larger animals, like some whales. Um, they also help to store carbon into the ocean. And in this way, they help to uh, change the climate. I hope you understand what I just say today. I've said today. I have heard that some people think um, some forums online that phytoplankton are produced by whales. No, but that is totally absurd because phytoplankton are not baby whales. Phytoplankton are also not fetuses of um, whales. So the connection with whales and phytoplankton is just like I have explained in this video is that the manure of the whales feeds the phytoplankton. The phytoplankton then can grow and turn carbon into uh, oxygen. And that then can be stored on the bottom of the sea. That's how the process works. Put in the description what you want that I explain next time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Or actually, you see me. <laughs>